हेलो भिवर्स ओलकाम टू माई टेक अपडेट अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल पावर्ड बेक्नोलजी आर एस एस डट कम इन दिस टीटोरियल हाउ टू कन्फिगार प्राइट क्लाउड सिसटेम अन ओबन टू टोटी पॉइंट जिरो फोर यूजिंग एपाची क्लाउड स्टेक दिस इज पार्ट फाइव मास्ट वि सी माई प्रिभिया पार्ट फोर देन सी पार्ट फाइव पार्ट फोर इज सेम सेम कन्फिगारेशन but i face some error unable to add host into cloud stack management server ac is version 4.15.0.0 but 4.15.1.0 already fix from acs my version is 4.15.0.0 so i face this error unable to add host into cloud stack management server so i find out this solution and i show to you this is kvm server kvm server must add these three lines into ssd configuration file and then restart ssd service then try to configuration zone as like my previous part 4 video so now i try to deploy first basic zone launch and at a time i see log file if any error now try to adding host and i see this log file maybe success adding host yes all are success this is command output cloud stage agent setup is done yes set capacity success yes successfully add host creating primary storage creating secondary storage zone creation complete and enable zone then create system vms this may take a while download system vm it will take 5 to 10 minute for installation complete system vm ready and waiting for built in template yes cloud setup successfully you may now continue yes successfully created zone and now start vm yes console proxy vm is up and now try to vm secondary storage vm yes both are successfully up and running open console yes login root password is password i try to ping internet yes successfully internet ping is done now i try to download iso from my local iso server now try to upload from my local server ubuntu 18.04 all zone os type ubuntu 18.04 executable public featured and click okay register iso and now try to download this iso and install now download done installing this iso then this status is ready yes, successfully installed and status is ready and i show this virtual router is zero now i try to create instance using my uploaded iso next ubuntu server hypervisor kvm next a small instance medium instance select a small instance a small 5 gb medium 20 gb large 100 gb or custom so i select 10 gb affinity group network default network group ssh key pair you don't have any ssh key pair please continue to the next step next 
प्लीज रिव्यू द फॉलोइंग इनफॉरमेशन एंड कॉन्फर्म दैट योर वर्चुअल इंस्टेंस इज करेक्ट बिफोर लांच एस नेक्स्ट एंड इट विल टेक वन और टू मिनट फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस इंस्टेंस एंड स्टार्ट दिस इंस्टेंस यस नाउ क्रिएटेड इंस्टेंस एंड then start instance this is at us iso for booting and this view console this is fully managed vps system now try to start from iso booting and then continue step by step installation process yes welcome installation process select english and select continue without updating done and get ip address from my dcp virtual router dcp server done 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 use enter disk done done select continue and create user username take and password confirm password and tap then done install open ssi server using press space bar then tab then enter not needed any service done now start installation process it will take 5 to 10 minute i will come back again continue running installation process installing kernel successfully installation done and i see this updating you can select cancel update and then reboot but first and it us this iso and then reboot as it us iso now reboot from this yes successfully reboot done and now try to open this console and i see this vm is continue starting yes successfully start instance now i try to log in using created username and password yes login success and see ip address 10.66 200.34 and try to ping internet yes successfully my instance internet ping now we can manage many domain from this add domain technology rss dot local and network domain domain id not needed and you can create user for this domain take password confirm password email take at the rate take rss domain who is 
domain for this user select this domain account not yet role root admin or domain admin select domain admin time zone and then add yes this is virtual router now i try to log in my tech user uh, this is client site and see you have iso yes now i try to create instance using this iso ubuntu 18.04 hypervisor kvm next a small instance i try 10 gb next default network next a review please review the following information and confirm that your virtual instance is correct before launch yes yes running instance now try to access using console yes now starting this vm yes coming up installation window select continue without updating done 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 yes enter disk tab and select done done uh, down arrow select continue and create user c l i e n t client ubuntu server users password confirm password tab and select done press space bar install open ssh server done not needed any service yes now installation process running please wait when done i will come back again now successfully installation done i see cancel update and reboot but before detach this iso cannot reboot this instance yes detach this iso and then reboot this vm successfully reboot this instance now successfully start this instance now try login my client user and login successfully check ip address and try to ping internet yes ping internet is successfully working go to dashboard running vm 1 stop vm 0 total vm 1 now i am going to admin account and instance see this instance all instance uh, have this this is tech account instance and this is admin account instance all vm is running successfully you can use your production environment or your organizational environment for private cloud system or public cloud system cloud step have many more feature 
for using private cloud system or public cloud system and you can find out more video from my video description or from my channel thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please submit your valuable comments please subscribe my channel like and share with others and don't forget press the bell icon get the first notification